Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my February fragrance of skincare and beauty. Now, I have another video that's coming out today or came out before this, depends on what time I edit and get it up, where it's my fragrance videos and I'm separating them so that way if you guys only want to watch one or the other, you can. You don't have to sit through content you don't care about. This video is skincare and beauty. So if you want to know what my favorite skincare and beauty products are for February 2017, then keep watching. Usually I have favorites and then I have products that disappointed me. And the only product that really disappointed me, I actually did a love and hate on, and it was the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I thought to myself, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. I mentioned it in a vlog that I hated it. I did a review, a whole video on I didn't like it. So I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm mentioning it now, but I mean, this is all I'm talking about. Everything else is going to be loves. These are products I've loved this month. And it's pretty much all beauty except for one item, which is a skincare item. So let's get let's started. Let's talk about the skincare item that I really love. Um, it's been the La Mer The Mist. This, you guys, you know, it's humid and gross in Florida. Um, and my skin, it's combination. Either it's really oily and greasy, like I'm an oil slick, or parts of it are patchy and dry and overly sensitive and painful. And moisture is so important. My buddy C, um, CJ did an entire video on the importance of moisture, um, talking about the skincare. It's one of the things we all deal with. I'm going to link his video below. Definitely check it out. Um, but like this has been my go-to moisture mess in the past like few months. I usually go between this one and the and the other one from Mario Badesca. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm really bad. The rose water one, which is really, really, really good. Um, but just this one because it's just been really nice. It absorbs really quickly on the skin. It works really nicely with my skincare. And actually what I'll do in the morning is after I apply my setting spray, I will apply a few spritzes of this. Um, and then throughout the day, especially um, if I'm feeling really dry, I'll spray this and I will like at night in between my skincare um, products sometimes I'll spritz this. I use this all the time you guys. I love it. It has a very almost like slight rose scent I think but it's really really good. I know that it's expensive um, and I would only really recommend getting this guys if you use a La Mer in your skincare routine. If you don't use La Mer in your skincare routine I don't think you need this. You could probably definitely get away, I, not probably, absolutely get away with using another product, but I like to use as much of the same brand as possible. It just makes my skincare work better, um, and it's better for my skin. You know, brand loyalty and things like that are really good for your skin because it's the same ingredient and your skin really likes that. Um, so I try to use as much La Mer as possible, and that's where this comes into play, and I've just been really liking it. Um, when I run out, I will definitely be rebuying this, so that is how much I like it. Another product from La Mer that actually was given to me, I bought something online from a sales rep and she sent me a whole bunch of samples, which is really generous of her, and she also sent me this brush. <laughs> this is a brush that I think you get when you get the, um, like the masks, like the face masks, but she just kind of sent it to me. And I didn't know what to use it for because I don't use a brush for face masks, but I actually have been loving this to apply my primers. I usually use my fingers, but I think because I've been having like breakouts, I've been trying to use my fingers less and less, even though I clean my hands. Um, and this has just been really fantastic for primers. So this has been my primer brush and it's, you know, I would never go out and buy something like this, but the fact that it was given to me and I found a use for it makes me pretty happy. I don't have that many products this time. Most of them are kind of groups of products. Um, the next thing I want to talk about are some of the favorite brushes I've been using this month. This one has been in my collection for a little bit. Hakuhodo actually did a collaboration with Sephora Brushes and they did a line of synthetic brushes. I know they are on sale at Sephora's um, website. I don't think you could get them in stores. They're definitely worth checking out if you guys want some really nice synthetic brushes. The best one out of the line is by far the concealer brush. I cannot, I can, look. It's in Japanese, that's in hiragana. I used to be able to read hiragana and um, be fluent in reading it. I took Japanese forever in high school and I was okay. Um, I used to be able to read it and kind of talk, uh, but not anymore. So I don't remember what this is, but this is the concealer brush. 
this brush is such an amazing concealer brush. First and foremost, it's really good at blending out the concealer, but what I like to use this for is to pat in um, setting powder. Um, and the reason why is because sometimes to get up into this area right here where my glasses are, as you can see I'm kind of, I didn't use this today because it was in here and I just didn't want to get it dirty. Um, what I'll do is I'll kind of pack a lot of powder in this area because that's where my um, my glasses lie and it's really good for that and then if I just kind of put a little bit of, I don't like to over bake my face, just put it out like that. Um, this is really good for packing in powder in that area and for blending out concealer. Anyway, it's a great brush. I love this brush. Next one are two cheek brushes. One of them I got in my Ipsy bag. It's a Luxie brush. I think every brush from Luxie I just end up loving. This is the 514 blush brush. It's really, really good. It's a great job at blush. It's a great job at blending. I really love it. This other brush I got is from Kevin Aquan. I think this is their cheek or blush brush as well. This is a really nice blush, especially for kind of really packed in like highlighters. Like this is great for those new e.l.f. highlighters that everyone's raving about that are really, really good. Um, but also for the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion highlighter, which is a beautiful highlighter, but it's so hard to get because it's like super packed in and it's very finely milled and it's beautiful, but this just gets it out and just applies it beautifully. And I love this brush for that. So this is Kevin Aquan. This is Luxy, and this is the Sephora Hakuhodo collaboration. And again, this is on sale. Um, I don't, I know they're not making any more, so definitely check them out. They're so good. But yeah, these are my favorite brushes this month. This one. So many people hate this product. Have talked horrible things about this product, and I can understand why. But for me, it is amazing. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. This is so dry. <laughs> um, it's so dry. But this matches my skin like perfectly, like beautifully. It's what I'm wearing today. Although you can't really, the lighting's weird, so it's making my face look really pink. But it matches my skin beautifully. The reason why I love this, you guys, is because I put so much skincare on in the morning that sometimes it doesn't completely uh, absorb into my face right away. Like it does, but then when you put on your sunscreen and your primer, your face, my face is combination. Sometimes it's dry or oily. When it decides to be oily, this is the foundation I reach for and it blends out beautifully. It mattifies everything. It looks really nice and natural and it lasts all day and it doesn't um, break up too much or settle too much into my fine lines. However, <laughs> if you're not an oil slick like like me, like I just am literally like an oil slick, I can see why a lot of people might not like this foundation stick. But if you guys are really oily or you have combination skin and you're looking for a really nice foundation stick on your oiliest of days, no matter what you do, this is a great one. <laughs> I love it. I really do. I will probably rebuy it when I'm out. So, I mean, I know it doesn't get a lot of love and I can understand why, but for me, it's pretty perfect. Next up are some of my favorite lip products this month. Um, this is the PBJ Smoothie Stick Creamy Lip Crayon. Um, I think this is in Guava Smoothie. I can't find the name. Anyway, this guy, so good. This is goes on. I got this in a birch box. This is like the best thing that's ever come out of a birch box for me. Birch box, I just stopped getting. They just completely have gone down the drain for me. But this product was really, really good. I really love it. Um, and it's a really beautiful color. And then this guy is my favorite liquid lipstick this month. month. And it's Hook, Line, and Sinker from Makeup Monsters. And this guy is what I'm wearing today. And it's Tarte Lively Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint. Every single time I wear this, my comment section is filled. You guys really like this lip color on me. I don't know why. I like it a lot, but you guys seem to really like it. So I wanted to give it some love. I do really like this lip color, but I'm just kind of like, I've never gotten comments on people on my lip products ever. Like everyone's always like, oh, your highlighter looks great, you know? But it's like, or your makeup looks fresh. It's like, what lipstick are you wearing? Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm like, thank you. Like I was taken aback. So this, this guy, and I love it because it's, I think it's a pretty color. And that's kind of like the color I've been going for this February. I think it's just because it was like Valentine's Day. I've been kind of going for this like fuchsia, purplish color, pinkish color. 
So yeah, those are the products this month I've been loving. Last but not least, leaks. <laughs> oh, the leaks are delicious. Last but not least is my favorite powder product, face product, um, other than the Anastasia. And it's the Makeup Forever Professional Powders HD High Definition Pressed Powder. I love the loose formula of this, guys. I've been using it for years. I have never, never tried this guy. What happened is, is I ran out of my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, which is my absolute favorite, and I haven't rebought it because I have so many other powders I have to use through first, but I was like, I need a good powder I know will work. And I didn't want to like order something online, but I was at Sephora. Like for me, if I have to buy it online, I have to justify it way more than if it's like right in front of my face. If it's in front of my face, I'll buy it. So I was like, I'll give this a shot, and I did, and it's great. It's so good. Anyway, I love packed powders like this. They're so convenient and easy to use, and I am so not good at doing makeup. So I love the convenience of this. I think it's great. I like that it's a compact so I can take it with me in my bag. I have a little mini kabuki brush I take with me, and if I'm looking a little bit oily or shiny, this is great. I love it. So this has been something I've been using all the time this month. Last thing I wanted to talk about is not beauty or skincare, but it is something that my husband bought me that made me so happy. Let me grab it, hold on. As you guys know, me and my husband met at the RenFest. We did a lot of our um, volunteer hours at the RenFest, um, and we love it. We always go every year, and he got me a bag. I've been looking for a backpack because I have back issues and sometimes like my crossbody bags or my satchel bags just hurt my back too much. Like my um, Alexander Way bag, which is my current go-to favorite bag, um, it's like 24 pounds. I weighed it, I was just like, I was like, I can't do that. So I was looking for a backpack and there's this, I like handmade goods. I like designer goods, you know, I like the higher end stuff, but I also like things that are handmade um, and like craftsmen and artisan made. So originally I was thinking I was going to get like a Louis Vuitton, like one of the little Louis Vuitton backpacks or one from MCM or one of the Fendi or Givenchy ones. And then we went to the RenFest and I saw this bag and I fell in love with it. And she was talking to me and originally I thought it was just like a crossbody and I was like, eh. And then she's like, oh, you could turn it into a backpack without me even saying I wanted it into a backpack. I was like, okay. So my husband's like, do you want it? And I was like, yes. So we got it for me and it's this bag right here. I know it looks a little worn, but I love that. I love that, you guys. I like handmade products that just have, looks like they have a story or look like they tell a story. So this is from Poetic Earth, and I will link their um, Etsy below. I don't know, Etsy or Facebook, wherever they have information. I don't know if they're on Etsy yet. Um, but I will link their Facebook below, there we go. Um, if you guys wanna check them out, they do a lot of local fairs. And it's just a beautiful bag. It's, can it's got canvas inside. It holds everything. Like, here's my wallet. This is where all my perfumes are. Like, all my perfumes, like five or six of them. Um, and this isn't a what's in my bag video, so I'm not gonna go through it. But I just like, I love the fact that this can be crossbody or a backpack. And I love that it looks unique and special. And it's just, to me, it's just really charming. I really, really love it. I fell in love when I saw it. We walked around for a few hours and then he's like, do you want it? And I was like, yes. So that was so generous of my husband. So thank you very much. That's my absolute favorite thing right now. And I've really been enjoying using it. It's been phenomenal. So definitely check out Poetic Earth. A uh, link in below is, is unsponsored. I just kind of like showing love to local artists and craftsmen out there. And I think that these guys deserve some praise because their stuff's fantastic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these beauty and skincare videos and my favorites videos, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and I'm free and there I go again. Every time I say I'm not going to do it, but I do. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. And in case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.